Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot scopes. Um, please keep in mind these readings are only general readings, so it takes what it feels right and what resonates with your own experience in your own life. The way I do these readings is I draw three cards for the whole week. Uh, the first card representing the main opportunity, the second the main challenge, and the third the overall advice. I also draw a fourth card which intends, uh, it's a Zen message, which intends to bring to consciousness unconscious matters that may be affecting or helping you during the energies you may be feeling during the week. So Libra, it seems like you're very focused on your material life. You are very focused on your achievements, in your uh, money situation, on your work, on uh, your connection with the material life, with the physical realm, is really strong uh, this week. Even though, as a main opportunity, you have the Nine of Cups. And traditionally, this is seen as the Wish card. So, I guess, as a main opportunity this week, you are being given the opportunity to be granted some kind of desire, some kind of fulfillment that you, you may until now have been looking for and now the universe will help you and now you'll be given the chance to do that but this is the card, the Nine of Cups is the card of satisfaction of indulgence, of sexual pleasures, of emotional contentment of just feeling abundant and having it all and being really happy with what you have and what you achieve um, but as a main challenge, you have the King of Pentacles. And as a challenge in connection with the Nine of Cups, maybe you are just being too, um, too concerned with your own material uh, endeavors, with your own material, material wishes and acquisitions, that you're losing perspective. You're losing... Um, perspective of other areas of your life that needs attention from you. You are not balancing your priorities. You are focusing your priorities onto uh, money, situation, financial matters, and just feeling, um, just trying to seek some kind of uh, material stability, which is uh, completely normal and okay, but it's about you needing to prioritize and realize uh, this week what is it money enough to grant your wish for life is it only about money is it only about that structure of life in the physical sense have you been giving uh, um, enough intent uh, enough att attention sorry to your emotional self to your emotional needs and satisfaction to your pleasures, but pleasures that come from heart connections, from um, hugging, kissing, just enjoying the company of others, and you are a Libra, you love to do that, and that's really important to you, but maybe lately uh, you haven't been able to be as social, as emotional, as joyful as you could have been in the past, because money is really on your mind. So, as a challenge, I think it's not about you not wanting or having to give up on your goals and on your material goals. It's about you finding a balance, and you are the balance sign, or the most unbalanced sign until you find the balance, then you are the pro on it. But it's about you really um, realizing that you can be the king of pentacles without having to become closed to your own emotions, without having um, to withdraw yourself from other kinds of pleasures that money and financial stability, no matter what, cannot give you. And as a main opportunity, you are being granted the opportunity to fulfill a wish. So, if you want, if you have been wanting to fulfill some kind of emotional desire, this is the week to set your intentions uh, 
onto that vibration. vibration. We have the new moon happening in your opposite sign in Aries. So maybe this is about this, uh, a relationship. Maybe this is about a situation where you, you need to um, begin a new cycle of emotional contentment. If you don't have a partner, it could be anyone that you may need to refocus and rebalance the emotional ties. Or it's just you uh, giving space in your heart, in your life, to have that person coming in, to have that bond made with the people that matter to you in your life. It's a wish card, so you can really, the sky is the limit, and you can really set your intentions into anything you want. But the challenge is for you to not, you see, it's about you being responsible as a king of pentacles is. It's about you keeping it together. It's about you being really business oriented and smart, but not only about money and not only about physical, uh, the physical realm. It's about you doing that and you having that maturity and that stability and that cleverness and that intelligence into um, an emotional sense because water and earth they blend in together very well the water fertilizes um, the earth so if you are too dry this is the week if you're feeling high and dry this is the week for you to let the waters of life flow into your life and give you the whole abundance, not only about material. And the advice is the Four of Pentacles, another Pentacle card. As an advice, again, is about you having that stability, you having that foundation, you having, you having that solid ground, but not holding on to it as the only thing to feel safe at. Maybe really money is a concern. And you feel like you don't have enough and you're, you're, you're too possessive and you, you're holding on to what you have and you don't have time to focus on other stuff. But the advice is to realize you have that structure, you have that foundation. And it's not about choosing one side or the other. It's finding a middle, meet me in the middle way. Because a solid foundation, even with financial matters and money, it's never there if other things are not. See, this is the biggest uh, mistake we all make. We think uh, we have to work so hard and focus so hard only on money, only on achieving uh, material wealth, but we don't realize that material wealth is deeply connected with our own uh, emotional wealth. With our, with our own um, sense of value and worth and self-esteem. And with our emotional uh, contentment and emotional abundance and flow, that self-esteem is rare, rarely there. That self-esteem and self-worth, it's not coming from the place of the heart and the soul. It's only coming from the body and the physical sense that feels like they constantly need to fulfill themselves with distractions, actually. So as an advice, it's about you uh, making a self-analysis about what you want um, to hold into your life. What's your priorities? It's only about money. But it's, if it's only about the money and the control and uh, being fearful of never having enough, how we will ever have that wish granted that unconsciously is there wanting to give so much abundance into your life. This is a spread of abundance, which actually is also the Zen message. So again, it's about you ha being okay with all realms of existence. It's, you, uh, it's about you finding uh, an attunement, tuning with that vibration of having it all, of not needing to choose on one area of life, of not needing to be stuck 
on a conception of reality in a physical sense. And the Zen message is abundance. This also showed up for Taurus this week. So, you see, he's so, he's so okay with all the physical senses, with all the emotional, with all the ethereal, with all the spiritual. He is just joyfully embracing, sorry, all aspects of life. He has his um, shirt open. He has his um, chest opening. His heart open to everything, to the whole existence. He's sitting upon the life, um, the book of life. He has the sage smoke. He has both moons. You see, he's just completely, uh, he's just completely in tune with everything. He's not choosing any aspect of life. He's okay with all of it. And in the traditional tarot, this is also the King of Pentacles. So, again, King of Pentacles is an important message for you this week. It's about you really finding that stability but not being overly focused only on money, on, only on physical satisfaction, because that is temporary. Sooner or later, that will come to you in a sense of being, again, high and dry, of not having what you need. And then we create this compulsion and this obs obsession where we just want more and more and more and more, but it's a distraction, again, for not seeking and opening this chest for the abundance of life in every single aspect, not only one. So, Libra, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have, you open your chest, you open that door and that space for this beautiful wish to be granted to you. And I wish you a great week. Thank you for listening, liking, subscribing. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, and we'll see each other in the next video.